to today's session. So today we are looking at question 8 from the August 2022 grade 12 GCE exams. And our question leads in the diagram x y equals 6 cm angle y x z 60 degrees and angle x y z 80 degrees. Calculate one the length y z. So when you look at the question, the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what is it that we know? So we know this is a triangle where two angles are given and we know that the sum of all angles in a triangle adds up to 180. So we can find the angle which is missing angle Z, this angle by applying the principle 80 plus 60 plus z equals to 180 so in this case 80 plus 60 is 140 plus z which is the missing angle is equal to 180 degrees so z is equal to basically 180 minus 140 degrees so z is equal to basically 40 degrees so we know what is missing this angle we know what it is is a 40 degrees so now we know three angles that are given in this triangle, then we know one side. So when you know at least one side and all the angles, the simplest formula to use is to learn to the sine lu. So sine lu. So sine lu states that the ratio of the side to their respective or corresponding angles is the same throughout in any given triangle. So in this case, what it means is, when you look at side, this is side X, then this is side Y. So what you are saying is, side X divided by sine of angle X, okay, is equal to uh, Z, side Z divided by sine angle Z is equal to side Y over sine angle Y. Okay, angle y. So in this case, when you're using this formula, you only pick two ratios. So in this case, in this case, we know what z is. In this case, z is known. We know what angle z is. We found it is 40. We know what angle x is, but we are looking for x. So in this case, we just pick this side of this. So if you had much information about this side, you could have picked this side and the, the first one. So in this case, we are looking for x, which is the length yz is equal to sine x. What is sine x? So sine x, where x is the angle at x, which is basically 60 degrees equals to z. Side z is, we know is 6 centimeter divided by sine at angle z is 40 so in this case we cross multiply by doing cross multiplication so not cross multiply one sided cross multiplying then by this side so that we mean with x so x is equal to basically 6 multiplied by sine 60 degrees over sine 40 degrees so when we multiply that Simplifying this using our calculator, we end up with 8.083, which is basically at one decimal place or to the one number is 8 centimeter. Thus, the length in this case, yz. So we have these four marks. Okay. Then part B is asking us to find the area. So the area of the triangle. So the area of the triangle in this case, we have this side known, in this case is a centimeter, and the angle in between. So we have two sides, this side and this side known, and the angle in between, which is 80 degrees, we can use the standard in. Area is equal to half multiplied by the two sides that are known, x and side z, we multiply, then multiply by sine angle in between these two sides. In this case, is c this theta. So having known these numbers, we know what they are. So we know that area now in this case is equal to half multiplied by 
x is basically uh, 8 multiplied by 6 multiplied by sine basically 80 degrees so when we simplify the number we are allowed to use the calculator in this paper so we end up with 23.635 which to two decimal places 23.64 centimeter square as our area so in this case this is how you get the other two marks so that you have six points out of 12. okay then let us move to question number three question number three number three is asking us to find the shortest distance so to expand more and explain better let us move to the next screen then this screen is zoomed i zoomed it so that you have a better understanding so remember we found this to be 40 degrees then we found this to be 8 degrees then the shortest distance from from x to line yz only happens if the line drawn from x to this line is perp perpendicular if this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees if the line does not meet this line at 90 degrees what it means is this line will be longer than the lead line or this line drawn this side will be longer than the lead line so the line will start becoming shorter shorter until it reaches the lead line then when you go beyond the 90 degrees it start becoming longer so that what happens so if that's the case then by drawing that line we form a new triangle so we are forming a new triangle and this triangle is special to last okay so this triangle is special to last and that triangle is this triangle that we want to be interested in is this triangle triangle a so this triangle a has got now this is a new hypotenuse then the the, the lead line is the opposite okay then this is the adjacent then we know this angle the angle that is facing the opposite so given that we have a light angle triangle we can just use the simple sine rule to find the line lady the light angle d side which is the line the distance of the lead line the red line so in this case so we can just use to find the, the distance of the red line so in this case we know sine theta is given by opposite over hypotenuse so you know what hypotenuse in this case is six centimeter okay then the this angle theta is the 80 the angle which is facing the the shortest distance so in this case we have sine in this case sine 80 is equal to 80 degrees remember these are degrees equals basically opposite which is x we are looking for over hypotenuse which is 6 centimeter then what x equals in this case we close multiply it will be just 6 multiplied by sine 80 degrees so which is basically when we multiply we end up with basically a 5.91 centimeter which is basically the distance the shortest distance from x to y z so basically this is how we get another these two free marks so straightforward so if you understand this principle this question always comes where you best to find the shortest distance so use this simple principle then the two marks will be yours for free okay having done that we can move to question number b so number b is asking us to find uh basically solve the equation tan theta equals to 2.75 okay so if that's the case we are looking for this part so what we know is tan in this case theta which we are looking for equals to 0.75 so let theta be equal to this alpha such that we have tan alpha equals 2.75 then we divide by tan then divide by tan so that we mean with alpha so meaning alpha is equal to now 
remember this one and this one goes will remain with tan inverse 2.75 so when you go to our calculator we place if you're using this uh this the common calculator called casio you press shift then tan then you enter 2.75 then it will be able to give you the result so the answer that would get is basically about 70 degrees roughly 70 degrees roughly that's our alpha now a turn a turn when where is the turn remember it's a positive number so we're looking for the quadrants where the turn is positive so we use all student take chemistry remember to remember so we know that uh, tan is positive in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. So if it's positive in the first quadrant, then what it means is alpha is basically equal to theta, which is basically equal to 70 degrees as our first uh, theta one. Then our second theta. So our second theta is basically equal to basically theta is in the third quadrant so in this case theta will be equal to basically the third quadrant is 180 then we are adding so it will be basically 180 plus the alpha so in this case it will be 180 plus the 70 degrees we end up with 250 degrees okay that's the second uh, theta so basically these are the two answers so this is how you get these two points. So basically this is one point and this is one point. So basically that's how you deal with this question. So let us look at the last question. The last question is asking us to simplify. So let me just lab to create enough space. Okay. So what we have is basically we have 1 minus x, 4x square as our uh, numerator so this one is basically the same as 1 minus uh, 0x minus 4x square this is what it implies yes then before we do with the new the denominator we need to simplify the numerator so in this case the product is basically 1 multiplied by negative 4 which is basically the product is negative 4 then the sum in this case is this one which is zero so we are looking for two numbers in such a way that when you multiply these two numbers we get negative four but when you add them we get a zero so the factors of four we have basically two so two times two is a four two plus two is a four so if you have two plus negative two is a zero so we have these which is negative one minus two x plus 2x minus 4x square. So you notice that this part is basically a zero. So having uh, taken note of that, then we can proceed to simplify this function. So this function, which is basically now 1 minus 4x square over 1 plus 2x, can be written as basically 1 minus 2x plus 2x minus 4x square over 1 plus 2x note that this is just a zero then we can factor out what is common between this one and between this one these two so we end up with one outside one into one is one then minus one minus 2x then plus here we have a two and the two can go there so we have two 2x outside which is common so 2x then 2x into 2x is a 1 2x into 4x square is basically 2x over 1 plus 2x so you notice that the lead items are outside so we can factor them outside so we end up with 1 plus 2x then multiply by now remember this one and this one are the same so we just get one so minus two x over one plus two x then at this point we can cancel the right term this one and this one then we end up with basically one minus two x 
as our final answer.